a daughter. I am a very good friend. I am Nigerian and that is very important because we are spicy, wonderful, hustlers. A creative. A doctor. I'm still getting used to that. Um, I am a learner, a lifelong learner. With photography, I think it really started for me when I was a kid. My grandpa and my dad would always have a camera to capture everything we were doing. I think that's first, uh, the first glimpse that I had into like just capturing who people were in a way that was comfortable, like they were able to be themselves in that in that moment and even just be who they wanted to be. You know, I realized like I just loved capturing people smiling. One of the ways that I was really able to merge like this photography and medicine concept, like how can I use my, this method of photography to shine a light within the field of medicine. And I am always trying to discuss and to share why we need diversity in medicine. Um, why we need to be able to see people uh, that look like us. And so this one photo is kind of an example of that. I did my third and fourth year of med school in Flint, Michigan, and I was able to see like this father and son duo. They were both um, uh, in obstetrics and gynecology. I delivered my first baby within my OB rotation with the father, and then I did my first gyne surgery with the son. And it was, I think that was very impactful for me. My first day of residency, I started in the cardiac ICU. Cardiology and I were not friends, so that was just terrifying. Uh, <laughs> terrifying. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, but, you know, the people were so kind and helped me get my bearings and were just like, don't worry, you're the intern. We're gonna help you figure out how to put in orders. Like, we're gonna teach you everything and you're gonna be fine. And I am, so. My life now compared to my life as a medical student is one, no more loans. We thank God. I'm actually getting a paycheck. It's hard work. And I think at least I have my patients that I get to see every day. I have coworkers that I love that are just so supportive. If I'm struggling, they'll help pick up the slack and like, they'll sometimes let me just, they'll just go home, girl, go home. Get, get a nap, girl. You know absolutely nothing. And it's not just like on the, information level, it's on the systems level. Like, I don't know where the bathroom is. Which is the exit, oh my gosh. You know, so I think uh, it's great to be able to go through this with other people that get it. Um, and again, I think you also feel you're more invested. Like I am the doctor, I'm figuring out what my plan is for you. And I am gonna implement that plan for you because I think that's what's best for you. Whereas as a med student, you're kind of like, towing the line between observer observer and like assistant, essentially. I started college 2009. We're 11 years out and I'm still training. <laughs> I feel like you go to med school and like everybody's trying to tell you what resource is the best to use. And I was trying all of them. I knew I was a, I, I knew that I was an audio like visual learner, so I needed to hear it, see it, write it, like interact with it. I need to be active. And so any video platform that anybody sent my way, I probably I tried it and I was trying all of them simultaneously and then trying to read because well, this person's reading and this person's reading and they seem to know what they're doing and I don't know what I'm doing. It was just, it was chaotic and all over the place all the time. Uh and so when I found Amboss, I feel like it kind of got streamlined because I knew I, it was like an all-in-one kind of situation. Like I could go there for any resources. If I'm going to one topic, I can read through the topic and I can click on the video and watch it. And there were pictures with highlights. It was everything because I could go from there and then go back to questions and stay within one resource. It has the knowledge information that you need to know for these exams, especially like the high yield stuff. Like you can go through the nitty gritty of things, but then you can also just stream it down to high yield. And then the other pieces that you get to test yourself with it too. Like there's so many questions in that Q bank, it's insane. Um, and you can filter it in so many different ways. You can go from a learning card about, about coronary artery disease and then just do all the questions on coronary artery, artery disease straight from there because everything is linked. Um, it comes with videos and chalk talks and outlines and plants. It literally, it has everything. I don't think there's any platform that I have ever used that has everything. 
But when I think about my life and about like photography, about travel, about medicine, family, relationships, you know, like it's a, it's a lot to juggle. You know, over the years, I have just been acutely aware of time and of wanting to make sure that the time I have, it's not promised. So I just want to make sure that I'm spending it the best way that I can. So I'm low key a little crazy on efficiency. Not always, but a little bit. And so I will literally know if I'm going to work, it's probably like, it's a five minute drive, but depending when I leave, it might be 30. So I'll think of like, who am I gonna call so I can catch up with them? I know they texted me like two weeks ago. You have to be really intentional about how you use and schedule your time um, when you're in a field like medicine. Being a doctor humbles you on a daily basis. On a daily basis. There's so much that you do not know about the body. There's so much to learn about like just the way in which we choose to store information about patients because there's so many different um, electronic like health records and you have to just like dive and dive and dive through kind of like a journalist to kind of get all the information from, you know, old doctor's notes from 20 years ago to figure out who this patient is in front of you. Every day it humbles you. Every day it reminds you that it is a privilege to be uh, in this space to not only help people feel well, but also to hold their hand and to be there during a time that's like very scary and vulnerable. And yeah, I'm, I feel like I come home crawling <laughs> every day.